Okay, here we go. Blockchain is a system of recording information in a way that makes it difficult and impossible to change. Hack or cheat the system. What is blockchain? That's what this is all about. A blockchain is essentially a digital ledger of transactions that is duplicated and distributed across a collection of computers on the blockchain. So basically a network of computers called nodes which all have the same histories of transactions. So instead of one company or database, which holds all the information, now the information is spread across a whole bunch of network, bunch of a whole a bunch of networks that established. Uh, trust, accountability, and transparency is um, the key factor. So you might ask what a node is. Well, cryptocurrency does not have to be computers. Any device that connects to interface can effectively communicate with other devices that become a node. Each node retains a copy of the entire blockchain, meaning all nodes have a record of everything that goes on in the blockchain, every single transaction, it's particularly with cryptocurrency, it's since its inception. Um, people who own nodes also can see the blocks and the blocks added to the blockchain. So for the purpose of understanding blockchain, it's instructive to view it in the context of how it's been implemented by Bitcoin. We all know Bitcoin. Like a database, Bitcoin needs a collection of computers to store this blockchain. For Bitcoin, this blockchain is just a specific type of database that stores every uh, Bitcoin transaction ever made. In Bitcoin's case, unlike most databases, these computers are not all, all under one roof. Each computer or group of computers is operated by a unique individual or group of individuals. So because um, the centralized nature of Bitcoin's blockchains, all transactions can be transparently viewed by other having a personal node or by using blockchain explorers that allow anyone to see transactions occurring live. Each node has its own copy of the chain that gets updated and a fresh blocks are confirmed and added. This means if you wanted to, you could track Bitcoin wherever it goes. For example, there have been times exchanges have been hacked in the past where those who've uh, held the Bitcoin have lost everything. Um, while the hacker may uh, be entirely anonymous, um, the Bitcoin um, can be actually tracked by the wallet address. Um, if the Bitcoin were uh, lost or stolen, then there you go. But there are governments like the United States, Britain, China, Israel, and a couple other have actually gotten the Bitcoins back. Don't ask. Don't know. Uh, the goal of blockchain is to allow um, you know, digital information to be recorded and distributed, but not edited. Blockchain technology was first outlined in 1991 by Stuart Hubbard and W. Sorrenta, two researchers who wanted to implement a system where documented timestamps could be not tampered with. But it wasn't until about two decades later, with the launch of Bitcoin in 2009 January, that blockchain had revealed its actual for real, first world real application. The Bitcoin, the Bitcoin protocol is built on a blockchain, and a research paper introduced the digital currency Bitcoin synonymous creator Satoshi Nakamoto referred to as a new electronic cash system that's fully peer-to-peer -peer with no trusted third parties. Some different use cases, banking and finance, currency, healthcare, records of property, smart contracts, supply chains, and voting. So, when was blockchain chain first created? Blockchain was first outlined in 1991 by Stuart Haber and W.S. Scott Serrano, two researchers who want to implement a system where document timestamps could not be tampered with. Serrano's main product is called Absolute Proof. That is a cryptographer securely sealed a do on digital documents, and its basis mechanism is the same described in Harvard and Stern's original paper. Clients use Serenity's absolute proof software to create a hashed digital document, which is sent to Serenity's servers, where it is time set to create a seal. This seal is cry uh, cryptographically secure, identifier, then is returned to the software program and to be stored for the customer. That went online. That went live in 1995 and is still running to this day. So, after. Sorry, I have transmission problems. Um, so after 2008 stock market crash, um, 2009, the blockchain emerged called Bitcoin. Bitcoin was first released as an open source software in 2009 is the first decentralized cryptocurrency.
made by Satoshi Nakamoto. It's done by proof of work. Then Litecoin came out, went live on October 13th. It was a source code fork of the Bitcoin core clients. A little bit different the way it works out faster. Uh, XRP Pre-Ledger, aka USB Ripple, went live in 2012. Then we had Dogecoin, 2013, that was created by Adobe employee and a software engineer. And then we had the next evolution of blockchain technology, Ethereum, um, that dealt with smart contracts for work, and now it's going to proof of stake through Ethereum 2.0. What is a smart contract? A smart contract is computer code that can be built into a blockchain to facilitate, verify, or negotiate contract agreements. Smart contracts operate under a set of conditions that users agree to. When those conditions are met, the terms of agreements are automatically carried out. For example, I'm your landlord. You're my tenant. You pay me rent. I will have a system set up, or if you deposit rent into my account, I'll automatically release the door code to you. The door code expires in exactly one month. Each time the rent's, the rent's paid, then you get the door code. If the rent's not paid, the door code's not valid. Don't have to involve lawyers and then computer takes it trustless. What is the difference uh, between 